Open Heavens on the Go, Tuesday, June 21st, 2022. Topic, Thank God for what you have. Memory verse, 1 Corinthians 10, 10. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Bible reading, 1 Timothy 6, 6 to 10. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which, while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. The Message Many people keep grumbling to God for what they don't have and forget to thank Him for what they do. Believe me honestly, some people who have what you are running after are not enjoying life any better than you. You want fame? I can tell you that fame will limit you greatly. When we relocated to the redemption camp in Nigeria, I could walk anywhere I wanted, praying all night. Now, the increase in the camp's population over the years has significantly limited how much I can walk around. There are things you are enjoying currently, the value of which you really do not appreciate. Enjoy them now. Because when God begins to answer your prayers, you may never be able to enjoy them again. 1 Timothy 6 says that godliness with contentment is great gain. What exactly are you seeking that has made you ungrateful to God? Proverbs 23 5 says that money can develop wings and fly away. Are you going to fly after it? When the money comes, you will discover, like the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 5.10, that it does not satisfy those who love it. Many years ago, I spent a night at the house of a very wealthy man. When it was time for breakfast the next day, the cook came and asked him, Sir, what would you like for breakfast? He asked, What did I eat yesterday? The cook told him. He asked, What he ate the day before? The cook told him. After so much deliberation, they finally decided on bread with eggs. Another round of deliberation started when the cook asked, what kind of eggs do you want? Fried, scrambled, boiled? After a lot of talk, he decided that he wanted the eggs boiled. The cook then asked, how do you want the egg cooked? Hard boiled, medium boiled, soft boiled? He answered, medium boiled. It took 30 minutes for him to decide on what to eat for breakfast. When the cook asked for what I would like for breakfast, I said to him, give me everything you have, just make sure it is plenty. He asked, you want eggs? I said, yes. How do you want the eggs? I said, whatever way you want it. He said, how about an omelet? I said, just make sure you put everything in the omelet. I don't have so much, but I have a good appetite. I rejoice and glorify God for that. Are you grateful to God that at least you can eat? 
Be grateful for what you have. Stop complaining about what you don't. God is faithful and he will meet all your needs at the right time. Prayer point. Father, I thank you for all that you have given me. I'm extremely grateful, Lord. Bible reading in one year. Psalm 55 to 57. Him for today. Now thank we all our God. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.